Hi everyone, my name is Erin Thome and I am your Norwex Independent Consultant and I'm here today to share with you how to clean, um, how I clean my son's high chair on a day-to-day -day basis. So how I'm going to do this little demo is um, with some glow germ and essentially what this is, it's just a simulator for germs and it helps to educate people on proper hand washing techniques. So I've already sprinkled some of this on the surface and you can see with uh, my black light here how, how it's just loving to glow in the dark. Okay, so um, let me turn these lights back on. Okay, so I'm first going to start by washing this or cleaning this with um, a chemical cleaner. And um, before I had kids, this was um, using using disposable wipes was a very common way for me to clean surfaces. Um, and but I've kind of wised up um, being a mom and someone, some may even call me a mama bear that I'm pretty cautious about what I expose my children to um, and the rest of my family, including, including myself. Um, and so if you are going to use a chemical cleaner, may I please highly recommend that you read the instructions and follow them to a T. So when I read the instructions, it said I should wear some rubber, rubber gloves and also have proper eye protection. So I have to add this in there. Laugh if you will, but safety first. All right. So we got these guys ready to go. Now, the other thing that it says with these disposable wipes is that you want to make sure that your surface is visibly wet for at least 30 seconds in order for um, the wipe to clean and disinfect the area. Some even describe that you should um, leave your surface wet for four to 10 minutes. All right, so let's check this out on how it did. Okay, I'm gonna, you can see without me even turning the light off how that, how that is glowing. Um, the other, the second part in the instructions with using um, this a chemical cleaner is if it comes in contact with food, you should definitely um, clean your surface off with potable water. So that would be another step that I would need to take when I'm wiping down my, my tray for my son to make sure that he's safe. Personally, I wouldn't even want um, him to be close to this cleaner because as I'm reaching over it even just doing this short demo I can feel uh, my throat starting to burn my eyes kind of um, are a little bit watery and um, I notice my throat starts to get kind of scratchy just this short little exposure and I can't imagine what it's like for for a little guy um, so there's actually three ways to clean your surfaces the, the first that we're, we've been trained for years and years and years is to chemically clean and kill um, everything that is on your surface. Um, the second way to um, clean is with to do thermal cleaning, which is very difficult in a household setting. Um, the third way is to mechanically clean. Mechanically clean is nothing real fancy, um, but it just simply means that you're picking up um, things from your surface. So if you're picking up um, your dishes and putting them away, you're mechanically cleaning. You're making things clean and you're removing everything from, from your sink, essentially. Um, so Norwex makes it super easy to mechanically clean and they have done all the research and all of the scientific work for us um, to make this possible. Norwex our EnviroCloth is the highest quality microfiber on the market today. Any run-of-the-mill microfiber, um, the threads will be one-sixth the, the diameter of a human hair, but Norwex threads are guaranteed to be at least one-two-hundredth the diameter of a human hair. So that just means that you've got more mechanical fingers grabbing and working for you when you choose to use and clean with Norwex. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit more of this germ simulator on here just so that you know I'm not scheming. All right, so it's still kind of smeary from that last demo. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do is use a flat fold with my Norwex and Virocloth so I can expose as many fibers as possible. And I can just pick up and grab 
all those little germs in one fell swoop. And let's just see, sometimes it does kind of go make a, a poof, but look at that. Look at how quickly that removed everything. I don't have to worry about my hands drying. I don't have to, more importantly, I don't have to worry about my son breathing in any of these nasty, harmful chemicals. And I don't have to worry about the second step of wiping things down with potable water because it's already done. So that's how I clean my son's high chair. Morning, noon, night, for snacks, bedtime snacks, all the time. It's fast, quick, and easy. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.